Six years after Ryan Poston was shot to death, his family and the woman accused of killing him hears a sentence for a second time. After her second trial, a judge sent Shana Hubers to prison. Local 12's Jeff Hirsch covered both trials, and he is live now with reaction to the judge's decision today. Hi, Jeff. Well, good evening. Judge Dan Zala had a couple of options. He could have accepted the jury's recommendation for life in prison for Shana Hubers, or he could have reduced that recommendation to a lesser time in prison. He agreed with the jury. This case, as you said, goes back six years to October 2012 when Shana Huber shot and killed her on and off boyfriend, Ryan Poston, in Poston's Highland Heights condominium. Hubers argued self-defense. The prosecution said that he was going to break up with her. That's why she shot him. <clears throat> the first trial, she was convicted and given a 40-year sentence, but that verdict was tossed because one of the jurors did not disclose the fact that he had a prior felony. So earlier this year, we had trial number two, and in this case, the sentence recommended by the jury was more severe, life in prison. Before the judge imposed the sentence, Ryan Poston's father talked about the last time he saw his son. It was late, and he was seeking refuge from the woman, the stalker, who in the very near future would take his life. Ryan abandoned his own home to escape her twisted concept of love. Even in the safety of my home, she stalked him relentlessly through the night with her barrage of text messages. The following morning, I did as I had done thousands of times in my son's life. I went into his bedroom to check on him. Although 29 years of age, a grown, responsible man who was and always would be my child, I laid down next to him, put my head next to his on his pillow, draped my arm over his body, kissed him on his cheek, and said, I love you, Ryan. Without moving, without opening his eyes, my child mumbled back to me, I love you, Dad. Justice, that word, that word justice, mm. that you can't ever truly define what does it mean. Today, I think we feel a little bit of it. I think we feel a little bit of justice. And that's what I wanted to give to these families. Defense motions for a new trial were denied by Judge Zala. It is expected that Hubers will appeal the conviction. Live in Newport, Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. Back to you. All right, Jeff, thank you. Under Kentucky law, Hubers is eligible for parole in 20 years. Hubers gets credit for the six years she's already served since the murder, so she'd actually be eligible in 14 years.